Hey guys, Stefan here from Innovative Engines and Engineering. Welcome. Today I'd like to talk you through our new RB26 drive-by-wire kit that we've designed. Uh, so after years of disassembling and reassembling RB26 engines for Autotech and Motorsport here in Switzerland, I wanted to be able to clean up the intake side, remove all the vacuum lines, water pipes, hoses, idle control valves uh, and so forth. Uh, having done a single drive-by-wire throttle body conversion on my RB30 ET S14 in New Zealand, uh, I knew there was a lot of benefits from drive-by-wire. Long story short, I spent 10 months developing this kit behind me and all of its components, uh, with most parts being revised 5 to 10 times. <clears throat> till clearancing, function, aesthetics of each part was perfected to the point where I couldn't change any design aspects anymore as everything uh, was positioned and designed exactly as it needed to be in the end. Uh, so behind me we've got the, the entire system uh, with the pedals uh, so we'll take a look at that. Now here we have a uh, just some examples of the prototyping work involved. The Nismo intake manifold that we have um, milled down and prepped uh, to use without the throttle cable bridge, which would normally go here, uh, which is one of the cool things about this drive-by-wire system. You can remove uh, all the unnecessary bolt holes on the intake manifold to give it a really clean new look and um, that's about that you can also remove all the pipes and hose connections at the bottom of the manifold here because you also don't need those anymore so in front of us we have the entire kit itself or assembly uh, with the throttle shaft connectors which are clearanced perfectly to the throttle shafts and then grub screwed in place on the back here we have the second TPS sensor uh, with its custom bracket and then we basically just have our throttle motor mounted on the front of the actuator motor we've uh, made a new plate and boss to fit a new bearing in to support the shaft of the throttle motor and it has an integrated seal which allows no moisture or water. Now taking a look at the different pedal brackets this one being for the 33 GTR uh, here we gave two options uh, for the grommets where the throttle cable hole is in the firewall here we have the R32 GTR pedal bracket um, they fit really nicely have a bit of an OEM look and nothing too fancy and they sit exactly in the same position as the OEM pedal uh, so like I said about the grommets uh, we have two options a cable pass through grommet uh, which you can safely uh, pass wires through the firewall with or if you have no wiring that needs to go through the firewall you can use the blanking grommet Fabian's R32 GTR with a 2.8 litre HK stroker kit uh, there's a lot of temporary parts on here by the way so don't mind those but uh, we can take a look at the drive-by wire system installed as you can see uh, it gives it a really nice sleek new look for the RB26 something out of the ordinary yeah. we're gonna wrap it up with the wiring loom and ECU selection uh, we've decided to go with a OEM loom and then use a overlay harness which will drive or control the drive by wire uh, if you wanted to go a lot further, you can have a complete motorsport designed loom with every other sensor you want to fit into your project and into your car. 
it's totally doable uh, the kit that we will sell on the internet or on our website when we're done uh, will basically be with a stage one loom which will just be an OEM loom with a map sensor uh, boost solenoid uh, a few other sensors that we generally just put in when you put a, a ECU aftermarket ECU in and we will choose a link thunder because we don't have very many limitations with that we already have two EGTs two lambdas and just a really a, a lot of uh, inputs and outputs left uh, so if you have any special uh, needs or you want a different ECU just contact us and we can work in with you uh, with that cool uh, thanks for watching uh, hope to hear from you check us out on Facebook or Instagram give us some feedback and yeah we look forward to hearing you guys and yeah thanks